what are democratic lotteries and why do we need them? Well, one of the problems is that we don't see ourselves in our democracy. Decision makers at every level are consistently older, whiter, and wealthier than the general public. Non-white racial groups in the U.S. make up nearly 40% of the population, yet only 23% of Congress. And even though women make up half the population, they still only make up 27% of Congress. And that's an all-time high. We don't see ourselves reflected in those who make decisions on our behalf. And it's not just decision makers. Those who participate in traditional politics follow the same trends. We hear from the same voices over and over again. We don't see public decision making as something we all can do. This leaves large portions of the population left out of decisions that affect their lives and disenfranchised from politics altogether. In order for democracy to work, we all need to have a place at the table. Imagine a democracy where our public decision making reflected our diversity where everyone participated in in-depth policymaking, where expertise was both valued and questioned, and where our government was a tool we all used together. Sounds too good to be true? It's not. We're already on our way. Democratic lotteries ensure that all of us, from every walk of life, have a place in public decision-making. They bring together everyday people to talk about the toughest policy issues. Here's how they work. First, 5 to 15,000 invitation mailers are sent to randomly selected residential addresses throughout the community. There are three levels of randomization throughout this process. This is the first. Next, it's time to crunch the data. That means that if women make up 50% of the population, they make up 50% of the panel. Or if those under 25 make up 20% of the population, they also make up 20% of the panel. Then, the data is entered into the open source software called Panelot. Panelot takes the data and creates hundreds of potential panels that are both random and demographically representative of the community. Each potential panelist is assigned to various panels based on their demographic makeup. This is the second level of randomization. And finally, after creating hundreds of potential panels, each random and demographically representative, it's time to select just one. It's time to be in it to win it. At a public lottery selection event, the panel is selected. Those who are on the selected panel have won the Democratic lottery and will take part in extensive deliberation around the issue at hand. At the end of the process, the panelists will hand over recommendations to decision makers. Democratic lotteries are elevating the voices of everyday people in public decision making and designing a more collaborative democracy together.